the LDS teaching about the corruption of the Bible. Is it verifiably true or a myth? Should LDS church members take Joseph Smith's word for it or should they do their own investigation? And most importantly, what kind of impact, if any, a mistrust in the reliability of the Bible can have in our lives? That is the conversation for today. Hello everyone, Solange here, happy 2023, and let's go to the church's website and read about the eighth article of faith. It says, we believe the Bible to be the word of God as far as it is translated correctly. We also believe the Book of Mormon to be the Word of God. And it continues explaining, the Bible has the words of prophets who testified of Jesus Christ. When people translated it, they changed or left out some important parts. That's why we believe the Bible is the Word of God, except for any errors or missing parts. The Book of Mormon also contains teachings of prophets. Joseph Smith translated it with Heavenly Father's help, so nothing was changed or left out. So we see that this statement about the Bible is made without the offer of any evidence to support it. While the Bible is portrayed as having suffered corruption, the Book of Mormon is portrayed as having been exactly the same since it came about, but that is a subject for another video. Going back to the claim about the Bible, that is obviously a huge claim, not two ways about it. Now, if true, the church leadership should have no problems whatsoever in showing us evidentiary proof from all of the early manuscripts of the Bible in order to back it up. Has it been done? No, that has never been done because that would actually backfire on them. So, no proof. But then, how do LDS members come to believe that about the Bible? Well, using my own experience as an illustration, Many of you know that I was raised LDS from age six. During the entire time of my membership, I never had church classes where we learned about Bible history, but I was taught that corruption of the biblical text was a historical fact, pretty much in the way we just saw that is still being taught in the church's website. The focus is never really placed upon uh, learning Bible history or even learning deeply about the Bible. Uh, actually, the focus is really placed upon praying and asking God if Joseph Smith is a prophet of his and in getting that sense of uh, well-being, which would be a confirmation of that as we are taught. So if Joseph Smith is a true prophet, then whatever he teaches must be true. If he taught that the Bible was corrupted, then it was. And actually, as far as proof, if you will, for the members, the biggest reason to believe that are all the parts in the Bible that disagree, that contradict with Joseph Smith's and the church's teachings. And that is really placing the cart before the horse, if you think about it, because the Bible has been around way, way before Joseph ever came into the scene. But only much later in my life, I saw the danger and my foolishness in allowing him to be the judge of the Bible instead of using the standard taught to me in the Bible to judge his teachings. So imagine my complete amazement when years later I began my own investigation about the Bible. I was amazed to learn a lot of facts 
that I was completely unaware of before. Things like Bible translation and transmission. And no, they are not the same thing. If I was translating for you this sentence from Portuguese, seu gato está embaixo da cama, your cat is under the bed, but then see you going for the ladder to get on your roof, then I would know that I did a very poor job of translation, right? But transmission is different from that. If I were to write a book, and in every edition of it, from now to a hundred years, whole chunks of sentences, paragraphs, and words were taken out of it for whatever reason, then whatever someone reads in the future will no longer be the original content that is trustworthy to what I first wrote originally. And that is the type of claim that is made against the Bible, not only in Mormonism, but virtually in every other religion I know of. And usually it is to bring in additional books which are also considered holy or new revelation. In my investigation, I learned that good Bible versions like the KGV, NIV, ESV, etc. are translated directly from the Hebrew and Greek. And there is no telephone game going on. That is actually a myth. I also found out as a verifiable fact that the content of the Bible was correctly transmitted all the way to our day, with nothing missing. To learn about how we have thousands of early New Testament manuscripts in Greek, in Aramaic, etc., and to know that we can compare their content to what we have in our own copy of the New Testament at home without finding any precious parts of the gospel of Christ missing nearly blew my mind. Because that means that when I study the Bible today, I am reading the reliable, solid, and completely dependable Word of God to me. It is important to share this information with you. Why? Because essential doctrines which God preserved for us in the Bible have been taught in the opposite way by Joseph Smith and church leaders. Very essential things like the nature of God, who the Father is, and who Jesus is. See, if we can trust in what the Bible says, then when we read Isaiah 43, 10 and 11, for example, which tells us that before me no God was formed, neither shall there be any after me. Joseph Smith's law of eternal progression is blown out of the water. But as long as someone believes his claims of biblical corruption over what is actually written in the Bible, they will remain blind with unbelief towards God's word. But friend, the Bible has very specific language about the truth of God's nature, of our sinful nature, about how we are forgiven of our sins and receive reconciliation with God. It offers no alternative routes. When Jesus stated in John 8, 28, that unless you believe that I am he, you will die in your sins, who is the Jesus he is saying he is? God the Son, who was always God, who is God, and who will forever be God? Or is he talking about a previous spirit child of Elohim and one of his celestial wives, who came to earth as part of his own evolution towards Godhood? So you see, those contradictions are not reconcilable in any way, shape, or form. Someone here is wrong. So, if someone is going to take Joseph Smith's word about it and believe that it is the current content of the Bible which contains errors and not his own teachings, I would strongly advise them against it. 
especially if they haven't done any of the investigations I talked about. So this year, the focus here in the channel is going to be on all of the reasons God has given us to believe that the Bible is a reliable document of His divinely preserved revelation to mankind and the sole authority of His revealed word to us and I hope that you will join us in this journey. The objective of this channel is to always share the information with you in truth and grace and allow you to arrive at your own conclusions. To the Biblical Christians, friends of this channel, I will ask you to please remember me in your prayers, asking for the Lord to protect this work and to bring forth fruit from it according to His holy will in 2023. As always, I thank you for watching, and if this message resonated with you, please make contact with that like button, share about this channel with others, and subscribe to become part of this community here. Blessings to you. See you again soon.